Hi, welcome to this short series on scientific visualization using VTK Library. In this series, we will explore VTK Library and learn how to set up the graphics window and plot scientific data for visualization. Computer graphics is a broad field that encompasses the creation, manipulation, and representation of visual images and animations using computers. Graphics library like OpenGL is widely used graphics API for rendering 2D and 3D vector graphics. It provides a set of functions for rendering primitives, managing textures, and controlling the rendering pipeline. It is a common technique for rendering 3D scenes into 2D images by converting geometric primitives, such as polygons, into pixels on a screen. 3D graphics is used in many applications like game development, virtual reality, CAD and engineering design softwares and also in animations. Computer graphics is a dynamic field that continues to evolve with advancements in hardware and software. VTK, also known as Visualization Toolkit, is an open source, freely available software system for 3D computer graphics, modeling, image processing and volume rendering. It's built above OpenGL, which provides a software interface between programming languages like C++, Python and the hardware device, like the screen of the monitor. It has functions to create geometric primitive objects like points, lines, and polygons, and create transformations like translation and rotation. VTK is used for exploring, transforming, and viewing data as images to gain understanding and insight into the data. It has a full set of 2D plot and chart types for tabular data, and its core data model has the ability to represent almost any real-world problem related to physical science. VTK Library is a dynamic C++ toolkit built around the concept of modules. VTK modules contain fundamental classes and functionalities that are essential for data processing, visualization, and interaction in VTK. VTK Common Core is the base module and has base classes from which all other classes are derived. VTK Common Data Model Module provides classes for various data structures and datasets. VTK Transform module has classes to control transformation of 3D objects in VTK. To handle and manipulate data, VTK Filter Core module provides classes to extract and simplify the data to visualize on the screen. VTK also provides a set of interactive widgets that can be used for user interaction with visualizations. These widgets include handles, sliders, buttons, trackballs, and other GUI elements that allow users to manipulate objects, change parameters, and interact with the rendered scene. It allows us to create interactive and user-friendly interfaces for visualizations, simulations, and other applications built using VTK. VTK IO Core provides core functionality for input and output operations, including reading and writing data in various file formats. VTK Rendering Core provides core functionalities for rendering 2D and 3D graphics. It includes classes and functionalities essential for creating and manipulating scenes, rendering geometry, applying shaders, managing lights and cameras, and handling mouse-based events. Objects are the dominating concepts in object-oriented systems. They encapsulate the properties and behavior of the entities within a system. In VTK, all classes are derived from a common base class VTK object. VTK Render Window and VTK Renderer represents a rendering window where the scene is displayed. It manages the rendering process, including rendering multiple actors, setting up cameras, and handling lights. VTK uses a data flow approach to transform information into graphical data. For this, classes derived from VTK Data Object class are used along with classes derived from VTK Algorithm class. It provides a common interface and functionality for representing and manipulating data in various forms, including geometric data, image data, volume data, and other types of data supported by VTK. It also provides methods for managing data attributes, such as data arrays, field data, point data, cell data, and metadata associated with the data. VTK Algorithm class 
provides a framework for implementing data processing algorithms, filters, mappers, and other computational tasks. It is integrated into the VTK pipeline architecture, where it serves as a processing element in the data flow. Geometric objects are displayed using VTK actor class. An actor can represent various types of geometric data, including points, lines, polygons, and volumes. Actors can be interactive, they can respond to user interactions such as picking or selecting objects with the mouse and highlighting. VTK employs a pipeline architecture, which consists of interconnected components that transform raw data into rendered visualizations. The starting point of the pipeline is the source object, which produce data sets such as polygons, points, lines, volumes. It can be a file reader object or data generator object. Now, to extract any specific portion of the data, filters are applied on the source data object. Filters process and modify data or extract required data. They can be used for tasks like smoothing, contouring, clipping and then pass their output to the next component. Mappers convert data sets into graphics primitives that can be rendered. Different mappers are used based on the type of data set available. Mappers generate rendering instructions for actors. An actor represents an object in the scene that can be rendered created by the mapper object. It includes properties such as color, opacity, and transformation. Finally, the actor is rendered in the output window where the scene is displayed. The window has an interactor, which handles user interactions such as mouse, keyboard, and timer events. Now, since source objects either generate data or read data from external files, they have only an output port, which provides data to downstream object. There are various source objects inside VTK library to create data for simple cases, but for complex data we have to read data from external files. Filters are objects which manipulate data, so they can get input from multiple source objects and provide output to multiple downstream objects. Filters like VTK Extract Edges is used to extract the edges from input polygons or unstructured grids. It creates lines representing the edges of the input geometry, which can be rendered in the renderer. Mapper objects can accept geometric data from multiple source or filter objects and convert it into rendering primitives that can be displayed on the screen. VTK Filters Sources module in VTK provides a variety of classes for generating synthetic or procedural data sources. These sources are useful for creating test datasets, visualizations for demonstrations, or generating geometric primitives for further processing and testing purposes. VTK Renderer class is responsible for managing and rendering graphical elements such as actors, lights, cameras, and other visual components within a 3D scene. It is derived from VTK viewport and it supports picking, which allows identifying objects clicked by the user for interaction or selection purposes. It supports multiple light sources that can be positioned and configured to illuminate the scene. We can also set the camera's position, focal point, view angle, clipping planes, and other parameters to control what is visible in the rendered scene. Now, to set up the renderer object in Python, we have to instantiate a VTK renderer object to manage the scene. VTK renderer class has methods to add lights, actors, and manipulate camera to control the view. We can set the background color of the renderer using setBackground method. We can add multiple actors to a renderer using addActor method. A render window is the output window where the scene is displayed. VTK Render Window class in VTK is used to manage and display the rendering process. It represents the window or viewport where the 3D scene is rendered. Now to set up the render window, we first create a render window with a renderer, then set the background color, and add a renderer object, then we set the size and title of the render window. VTK Render Window Interactor class is used to enable user interaction within the rendered scene. It provides functionality for handling mouse events, keyboard events, and other user inputs. Now, to interact with the rendered scene, we have to associate the render window with the interactor so that it knows which window to interact with. 
VTK Render Window Interactor passes all user events such as mouse clicks and movement to VTK Interactor Style class. It supports different interaction styles such as trackball, joystick, and flight, which determines how user inputs affect the camera and objects in the scene. VTK Render Window Interactor runs an event loop to continuously handle user input events and update the rendered scene based on user interactions. Now, we will take a simple example to create a cylinder and display it in VTK window. We import VTK Cylinder Source class and create an object named Cylinder. We can set some properties of the cylinder using methods of the Cylinder Source class. Then, we create the Poly Data Mapper class object and pass the cylinder object to the mapper using set input connection method of the mapper class. Data from cylinder object is extracted using get output port function of the source object. Then, we create an actor object for the cylinder using VTK actor class and then set the mapper object in the actor. Then, we create the renderer object and add the actor to the renderer. Now, let's look at the complete code in Python and display the cylinder in VTK window. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated for our latest videos. Thank you.